Backyard Scientist here. Today I'm going to show you how you can hack an old television to act like an oscilloscope. You can control it using your voice or music. Check it out. Another Nick No Banger. Alright, now before we begin, let's go over the list of materials we'll need for this project. The first, of course, is a TV, some speakers, a multimeter, some headphone wire, a couple screwdrivers, a wire stripper, and of course, a cat. This is non negotiable. The next thing we need to do is completely disregard all warnings on the back of the case of the television and remove it. And when I say disregard, I really mean disregard. I hate warnings. Warning, before you continue, you must discharge the flyback transformer. Alright, now we need to locate these four wires on the circuit board. They are connected to the two deflection coils in the back of the television. What the deflection coils do is deflect the electron beam vertically or horizontally. We need to isolate the vertical deflection beam. Now to do that, we'll need to cut all four wires, and we'll be testing them with a multimeter. Connect your meter to two of the wires coming from the coil. If they match, that means that those wires belong together. Now tape your matching pairs together. Now we must distinguish between the horizontal and the vertical deflection coil. To do this, reconnect two wires to the circuit board, and turn the television on. If you can't see anything on your screen, you need to turn up the screen knob on your flyback transformer. You can tell here that this is the horizontal coil. Let's try the other one. And yep, that's vertical. Alright, now we know which coil is which. Now, to get this working, we need to know what coil is what coil. So, we know that the red and green one is the horizontal, the yellow and brown is the vertical. To visualize music, we need to leave the horizontal coil intact, and we'll modulate music through the vertical coil. To do that, we'll cut an old audio cable and remove the leads from it, and then we'll connect this to the vertical coil. Now, we'll take the old horizontal coil and connect it to the vertical coil leads on the circuit board. This is important. Remember this. Remember! Alright, we're all hooked up now. Let's plug into music and enjoy the show. Pull up an online tone generator and experiment with all the different waveforms that you can get. Now I thought this was pretty neat too. Not only can it play a sine wave, but it can also play sawtooth, kind of a triangle wave, and also a square wave. Check out this weird effect. I set one channel to 60 and the other to 61. It kind of looks like a drunk snake that just stumbled off a roller coaster or something. If you want to spice this up a little bit, try putting a strong neodymium magnet behind the electron tube and watch the colors. If you connect a microphone instead of a speaker, you can watch your own voice. Check it out. Ooh. Ooh. I can sing! For more interesting projects you can make with an old television, like this small Tesla coil, or this high voltage supply, Check back in the description or watch for new posted videos in a couple of weeks. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe of course. Additionally, you can now follow me on Twitter at ChemicalKevy. See you soon. Bye.